we have our last video of Nathan's, which we'll all talk about. Wow. Red Hots, speaking of color, <laughs> you saw a lot of red. I did. And he, he used that great red sofa, but you saw a lot of other pops of red. I saw a lot of red. Um, basket weave, a lot of interesting use and um, collaboration of basket weave with other materials. And au naturel. Yeah. So let's go into the videotape and check it out. All over the Las Vegas market, I've been seeing that hot punch of candy apple red. It's vibrant, it makes you take notice of it, and I can't wait to use it in my interiors. I love this carpet because it's a traditional kind of Quaker-esque vibe. It's woven, it's meant to be outdoors, which coming from California, you can't beat that. It kind of is graphic and modern as well as traditional. So I could literally throw this down in so many different interiors. The Red Hot trend is really exciting for me because I love color and it's such a bold, vibrant color to use. So whether you're gonna go for it and use the red all over the room, or kind of make a subdued, neutral tone on tone room and throw in punches of this color, either way, you've got a winner. Talk about a splash of color. This desk is fantastic. If you are faint of heart, don't use this, but it's definitely gonna implement the Red Hots trend into any room. It's sleek, I like it because it's, it's kind of pared down in its design, which makes it easier, an easier kind of handle for such a bold color. I would love this in my office. Here I am in the Robert Abbey showroom, and I love this lamp. And it's designed by, I can't remember what her name is, some decorator in LA. If the name's escaping me. No, it's actually decorated by my BFF and partner in crime, Mary McDonald. Um, it, it's just as glamorous and exciting as she is. This lamp is going to add a pop of elegance and glamor. And most importantly, going back to our trend, that red hot color. Okay, how fun is this? Talk about a punch of hot red. This is just pure whimsy and fun. I could put it on the floor, put it up on a pedestal, on a console in an entry, but the sole purpose of this kind of thing is just to add some decorative whimsy to a room and give me that punch of red that I'm talking about. And who knows, maybe if I had brought this to my teacher, I would have gotten better grades. The basket weave trend is so versatile, and because I'm seeing it in so many different materials, whether it's metal or wood or even fabric, it, you can use it in so many areas. And the traditional basket weave design calls to that great kind of uh, colonial look, but then seeing it in different materials updates it. This is like classic basket weave, but being in the nickel finish, there's something modern and clean about it. And how festive are these? Like line them up a doorway, when an entrance of a house. Wouldn't you love to enter a house that's all lit up and glammed out with these basket weave lanterns? The great thing about this chair is that it's implementing the trend of basket weave, but just one element of it. I love the clean back. It's really actually comfortable. And then you have that great pop of the basket weave on the seat. Look what else I found, some more basket weave. I love this because it's showing it in a completely different shape. Instead of kind of that traditional caning, it has circles and, they're, and it's painted, which is another great way to show it and do it. Um, this is a fantastic little side table. I love this kind of furniture because you can put it between two chairs. You can have a little cushion made for the top of it and turn it into a stool or an ottoman or put a tray on top of it for drinks or stack books. It's literally multi-purpose. You can do so many things with this and it's a great way to incorporate this trend into any room. I am kind of obsessed with these swivel stools from Palachek. They go with the whole basket weave trend that I've been seeing all over the place. Um, kind of that quintessential a big cane, cane woven look. I could put these literally everywhere. They just immediately make me feel like I'm on vacation somewhere. I am seeing the au naturel trend all over the place. And I think that it's come from that, the, the birthplace of that rustic movement. There was, there's been so many like heavy rustic pieces the past few years. And it's kind of the like sexier sibling to that whole aesthetic because it's still using these raw materials, the woods, the bamboos, the metals, but it's using them in kind of a little bit more of a sophisticated way. 
This chair, for example, I love it. It's super modern, has a sexy kind of shape to it. I could put it into a really cool contemporary place or it can go really laid back and beachy as well. Can't beat that. This light fixture is fantastic and it goes back to the au naturel trend. These are teeny tiny little coconut beads. No paint, no finish, no varnish on them. They're all braided together and it creates such a warm kind of boho ethnic look. This footed bowl is such a great, easy, simple way to bring the au naturel trend into your house. It's a simple, small accessory. It's a footed bowl, completely raw, unfinished wood. It looks so pretty with fruit piled high into it. During the holidays, you could put decorations in it. Um, and it just stand, it's totally stands on its own with nothing in it. It's just a beautiful object as well. Okay, Nathan, I want to see you with that red apple on the plane ride I'm back to it. LA. I'm getting it, but I'm I will buy it for you. I'm actually you getting it in seat. green. Yeah. They had it in green, too. They did? Yeah. It is unusual to see so much red in such yeah. a um, sophisticated way, like that lamp that was a floor mm -hmm. lamp. That was kind of subtle, despite the fact that it was such a powerful right. color. It's such a good color, and it's such a distinct red that I was seeing, too, because obviously there are a gazillion reds that you are out there, but it's that kind of bright fire engine, candy apple red, which I love it because it's so vibrant. It kind of immediately makes you take notice of it Absolutely. and makes you happy. And what a star of the show is that basket weave trend. I mean, mm -hmm. every piece you showed me, you showed us, was, I wanted them all. And, and I loved how they were, as you said, it wasn't just the way it was woven, it was the way it was painted, or it was the circles. It was right. all unexpected, those well, pieces. And, and, and I think it mixes so well. It's that California look mm -hmm. we all aspire to. Um, I think that that wicker always helps. Hey, I feel of, like you can put that wicker or basket fun. weave into any, almost anything, it's just playful. one yeah, element of it, yeah. Yeah, that chair was so great. Mm -hmm. And then on the Eau Naturelle, I loved what you said about how we've seen that a lot in the past, but in a less, perhaps sophisticated mm -hmm. way, and these had sort of, not diminutive, but like, they were just very feminine almost. It was a little bit more sophisticated, instead of like that big, bulky, yes. raw, like beaten up kind of look where these massive pieces, it, everything was a little bit more refined, but still staying natural in its, in its natural state. And what was it, the, the lighting, was the coconut beat? What? Yeah. I've actually used those from you have? interiors, yeah, and they really are little. I didn't even know coconuts had beads. So I was like, "What?" When I found yeah, out, I, where I are they in where the are coconut? They in the coconut? But I don't know that lighting. But they're really would... they're just like the raw little coconut beads strung up. They're great. You guys picked so many great things. You really did, and I really feel like it wasn't like we were just sort of searching for something to say. Everything from you today came very organically, like we saw these things, you know. It, it, I had to narrow mine down. Like I had 10 trends to begin with. And yeah, we had to cut them I down a lot because we had so many. many. So, so yeah. this is really the tip of the iceberg for sure. Um, and I know you guys of, of all people would, wouldn't say it has to be this or these are mm -hmm. suggestions to inspire you to always just go, you know, go out as we did, go out of our comfort yeah, zone a little see bit. See what's out there. See what's out there. Thank you again, Las Vegas Market, and to Bob. This was just so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.